very good evening, uh, fellow foundrymen. On, on behalf of the Institute of Indian Foundrymen Chennai chapter, we welcome you all for the second joint program which is being conducted by the IAF Chennai chapter and the Ma uh, Madras Management Association Chennai. Um, so, to get things started, may I now request our uh, Chennai chapter chairman, Mr. Saktivel Tirnav Karasu, to welcome the gathering. Yes, good evening. Malai Vanakkam. Okay. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, I want welcome everyone of you to this uh, evening program. This is our second uh, MME and IAF joint program. Uh, I, for the members of IAF Chennai as well as uh, MMA members, I welcome you all for this uh, program. This is our uh, market every four, fourth week or the last week Saturday, we have a joint program between MMA and Chennai. So don't wait for uh, invitation, take it granted. Every month last Saturday, we have a program here, right? So please uh, come in large numbers, but we can able to accommodate only 45, you know, this is a very small hall. Please bear with that. Maybe um, five years or ten years from now, we may move up to the bigger one. Till that, uh, we can able to accommodate only 40 to 45. And then we have our weekly programs also. It's all through uh, online programs, webinars. Uh, and please sub subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, right? So all the programs has been uploaded within a day or two to the uh, YouTube. So you can have even who was not come here to the present here physically can go through our YouTube channel for the recording and you can enjoy the program. So this is it. With this, I welcome you all to this program. Please enjoy the evening. Enrich and enjoy. And especially, sorry, <laughs> I forget to uh, welcome today's uh, speaker, Mr. B. Nadarajan. And he's a... Uh, Maybe the brief introduction will start. Uh, thank you, sir, uh, uh, for coming to us. And uh, so it is also new to you for a new platform for uh, addressing a foundry man. Yeah. Maybe they, I think it's the first time, right? Yes. Yeah. Please, this is also a new experience to you as well as us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chairman. To now introduce our uh, guest speaker for the day, I now request Mr. V.K. Raman, Vice Chairman, I have Chennai Chapter, to do the need for. So thanks for the opportunity given to me for introducing Mr. Natarajan. Welcome, sir. Natarajan is having 20 years, years of comprehensive and cross-cultural experience in leading people management functions and implementing innovative HR approaches and solutions to complex problems in multiple organizations. <coughs> Currently in the process of setting up his own professional practice in the field of executive coaching. So this is the need of the hour for us. So his uh, on qualification part, he uh, he is a mathematician, B.Sc. Mathematics. Then further, uh, he acquired the qualification up to Master of Human Resource Management in 1998. Uh, on experience part, uh, he, he was Vice President Human Resources in Apollo Hospital Education and Research Foundation, Chennai. At that time, he was handling corporate HR for the various units of the knowledge vertical, which includes two medical colleges, two medical colleges, 11 nursing schools, an online upskilling company and a skill development company. So then, uh, uh, again, Vice President at the PPN Power Generation Company in 19 and the general manager HR in Tebma Shipyards Limited in 2015. Then again head corporate HR in Amurthanjan, Amurthanjan Healthcare Limited. Then general manager in Kone Elevator India Limited, executive HR in Larson Tuber Limited and proprietor sculpting success and academy for self development Chennai. A freelance HR professional willing to support organizations on their HR needs and a certified coach ready to work with individuals in realizing their true potential. And he is offering some more courses on uh, this front that is Associate Certified Coach, International Coaching Federation, Transformation Leadership, Virtual Facilitation, then Competency Based HR. So on behalf of IAF Chennai Chapter, we welcome you once again, sir. And we request you to 
attend the program fully so that your doubts can be raised at the end of the program for which he is willing to give the answer for all the questions. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Thank you. Nice for that energy. Uh, thank you, uh, Indian Institute of Foundry Man, as well as thanks to MMA for giving me this opportunity. And uh, nice to be back at a foundry institute. I'm also uh, B.Tech in production engineer. So I had worked in foundries. <laughs> yeah, so I know about foundries. Okay, so anyhow, that's that's something interesting. Back to be uh, with your basics. So I started my career as an engineer in uh, LNT, um, process development engineer. Then did my MBA with specialization in HR, got a chance to shift to HR. By accident it happened, I shifted to HR. No regrets, I had a very good career. Uh, even today, uh, I got a chance to develop people. That was, that's something, if I sit back and uh, think what have I achieved in my career, I can proudly say that I had developed so many people. And many of them are still in touch with me. They keep asking me. Recently, there was a guy from Singapore who called me and said, Sir, I'm getting promoted as a branch manager in New Zealand. So, should I take this offer? Uh, I want some guidance. So, then we did some short coaching exercise where I found out he lacks certain areas like communicating in English more fluently and also some management uh, basics of management because he was a project engineer now moving into he's, he's a, just a diploma holder so he did this one of this landmark project in uh, Singapore which is called the Marina Bay Sands the three tower with one roof on the top today it is a landmark of Singapore After, previously it was that uh, Singham if a uh, Singham the opposite line the, the building has taken over as a landmark of Singapore so the center tower of that building was installed by my team I can proudly say that I contributed a little bit on that project. So he was one of those guys uh, who got trained in my training center and uh, still in touch. Many people are still in touch with me. So that's my achievement and very relevant to this topic, leading through coaching. Why do you need coaching? So guys, many a time get stuck. This guy, he is a successful project guy in Singapore. But when he got this opportunity to take over as a branch manager in uh, New Zealand, he had self-doubt. He was not sure if he can perform. Okay, he needed a coach. He needed somebody to whom he can reflect back. And incidentally, that day I was in Malaysia conducting a training program. So he called me and said, I wanted a half an hour of your time. I said, what is the problem? He said, no, I am getting this opportunity, but I am not confident of taking it. So let us discuss. What do you think is the competencies required to take up this job? So we listed down. So we found, okay, these are competencies which you can handle easily. These are the competencies where you lack. So then I put him through some of the trainings and coaching. I, I uh, directed him to some people to uh, get enrolled in some courses. He is currently doing that courses. I think next month he is taking over that position. So that is the role of a leader. Yes. How do we uplift people? How do we move them up? Okay. That is something I am passionate about. And uh, that is one of the reasons I got myself certified as a coach from International Coaching Federation. Okay. So nice evening. Let us uh, just move on. Um, who is a leader? What are the qualities of a leader? I want it to be interactive. Otherwise, Saturday evening it will be boring. What is the quality of a leader? Tamil Pislama. Anyone who doesn't understand Tamil? Yes, You have to ask that question in English. Huh? Very, very important. <laughs> because I had an experience. Uh, I was called for a Tamil program, NHRD and NHRD Koyamuthur chapter. La. Um, pandemic time, like there was one program we planned entirely on Tamil. 7 o'clock the program has to start, online program. 
சிக்ஸ் ஃபிஃப்டி ஃபைவ் ஜூமில் போய் பார்த்தா ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டி பீப்புள் ஹேவ் லாக்ட் இன் அண்ட் மெனி நேம்ஸ் ஆர் ஃப்ரம் நார்த் இந்தியா சௌத்ரி சர்மா என்னென்னமோ நேம்லாம் வருது தென் ஐ கால்ட் அப் திஸ் ஆர்கனைசர் அண்ட் ஐ செட் டிட் யூ டிட் யூ ஃபில்டர் ஆர் டிட் யூ டூ யூ நோ ஹூ ஆர் ஜாயினிங் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் சார் நாங்கள் கிளியராக போட்டிருந்தோம் சார் தமிழில் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி அப்படின்னாரு என்னன்னு பார்த்தா என்ன பேசிக் மிஸ்டேக் இது ஒரு பியூட்டிஃபுல் லெசன் ஃபார் மீ பேசிக் மிஸ்டேக் என்ன பண்ணிட்டாங்கன்னா the entire brochure the mailer was in english tamilil abdinna tamil la edittaanga okay in tamil and english la edala tamilil la tamil la edittaanga adu yaaruk puriyum somebody in delhi will see only some guru is a jangri is there nothing more than that illaya then uh, suddenly 2 minutes la we converted the program into english and uh, we delivered because nanu oru per vandirukanga we cannot say that this is tamil program you please get away so we have to convert it adanal da i normally ask this question in english yara if anyone is there who will not understand tamil please let me know i will not use tamil words and yara illa la very good thank you so who is a leader yar leader leader na enna eppadi define pannu enna qualities leads a team leads a simple okay what do we mean by leads the team supporting to grow yes accommodate everyone, accommodate everyone. okay empathy. empathy with people okay problem solving, problem solving. okay decision making. decision making yes certainly drive the performance culture drive the performance culture okay communicate directs communicates directs very good words yes ability to get the best out of people extract <laughs> uh, okay and thanks from the from the beginning guides from the beginning okay interesting yeah, one, one with a vision <laughs> excellent huh motivates excellent anything else that is missed out anyone else leads from the front leads from the front yes certainly Huh? Taking, care. Taking, care. Taking care of people. Okay. Takes responsibility for failures. Takes responsibility for failures. Abdul Kalam had a famous video. Satish Dhawan. Satish Dhawan. Yeah. Certainly that's a beautiful video for leadership. Yes. Okay. So I had listed down a few. Let us see what it is. My list starts with visionary. A leader should be a visionary. Somebody who has a vision. unless you have a vision nobody will follow you okay this is something that is missing here in the list <laughs> today we have started accepting leaders without integrity is it so <laughs> integrity or 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 integrity level or uh, integrity tamil la enna solluva nambagathanmai ya nanayam nambagathanmai okay அந்த ஒரு இன்டெகிரிட்டி இல்லைன்னு வச்சுக்கோங்களேன் டெம்பரரியாக யூ மே ஹவ் ஃபாலோயர்ஸ் பட் நாட் பர்மனென்ட்லி அவங்களும் ஆதாயம் வர்ற வரையும் உங்களை ஃபாலோ பண்ணுவாங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் போட்டு போயிடுவாங்க ஸோ இன்டெகிரிட்டி இஸ் சம்திங் திஸ் இஸ் அனதர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் குவாலிட்டி செல்ஃப் டிசிப்ளின் லீடர் ஷுட் பி செல்ஃப் டிசிப்ளின் சம்படி ஹூ டசன் ஹவ் டிசிப்ளின் பீப்புள் வில் நாட் ஃபாலோ ஓகே இட்ஸ் வெரி கிளியர் கம்யூனிகேஷன் யூ செட் எபிலிட்டி டு கம்யூனிகேட் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபார் லீடர் ட்ரஸ்ட் ஒர்த்தினஸ் is this somebody whom i can follow is can i trust him okay that's very important we'll talk about trust in the coming uh, slides uh, team builder somebody who can build a team okay somebody said problem solver decision maker yes certainly you need a problem solver decision maker uh, somebody said motivation எனக்கு என்னமோ மோட்டிவேஷனோட ஒரு லெவல் ஹையராக இன்ஃப்ளூயன்சர் வுட் பி அ பெட்டர் வேர்டுன்னு தோணுச்சு ஓகே சம்படி ஹூ கேன் இன்ஃப்ளூயன்ஸ் பீப்புள் ஓகே மோட்டிவேஷன் இஸ் ஒன் லெவல் இன்ஃப்ளூயன்சிங் இஸ் ஒன் லெவல் அபோ ஓகே அண்ட் எம்பவரிங் எபிலிட்டி டு எம்பவர் அண்ட் ஃபைனலி சம்படி ஹூ இஸ் அ பீப்புள் டெவலப்பர் வென் ஐ சே லீடர் லீடர் ஷுட் பி ஏபிள் டு டெவலப் சக்ஸஸ் if you don't develop a successor you are not a leader holding on to the position nariya paakuren nan industry la vande 
సక్సెషన్ ప్లాన్ హెచ్ఆర్లో వన్ ఆఫ్ ది టాస్క్ ఇస్ టు డూ సక్సెషన్ ప్లాన్ బట్ అది పేపర్ లెవెల్లో తాను ఇరుకోం ఓకే కోడ్ పోటు కోడ్ ఎదుతుంటే ఇరుపం వర్ష వర్షం ఎంత వర్షం అవర్ రిటైర్ అవ్వరనే తెలియదు అవరు ఎడుపు ఎడుపు రెండు ఎడుపు నంజ ఈశ్వరి అవరు వర్క్ పనిటిరుపారు కూడా ఇరుకరంగ అదే లెవెల్లో అప్డే ఇరుపంగ డెసిగ్నేషన్ చేంజ్ ఆఫ్ ఏజిఎం లెంది డిజిఎం సీనియర్ డిజిఎం సీనియర్ మోస్ట్ డిజిఎం జాయింట్ జిఎం ఎలా డెసిగ్నేషన్ చేంజ్ ఆఫ్ బట్ వర్క్ చేంజ్ ఆఫ్ so that is something that uh, that's uh, structural problem many industries are having uh, but at some point of time we need to look at developing the next level of people okay that is very important so in this particularly uh, the last few points influencing empowering and people development you can do only if you know how to coach people okay coaching is one skill that you need to have if you wanted to develop people okay we will come to that what are this what do we mean by that um many of you would be aware of this model which is called a situational leadership model by hershey and blanchard okay in the model la pathina um slightly complex model let me explain um what kind of a leadership style that you should adapt enna mari or leadership style ninga vandu use pannano endha situation ku thavunda mari eppadi leadership style la ninga use pannano ngiradhukku or very beautiful model okay in the model la vandu your style should depend on the level of your followers okay leader sonna there should be a follower which is team members okay or leader ku we will have team members team members oda level la poruthu dhaan ungaloda லீடர்ஷிப் ஸ்டைல் வந்து இருக்கும் இருக்கணும் அப்படிங்கிறது தான் வந்து ஹெர்ஷே அண்ட் பிளான்ஷர்டோட சுச்சுவேஷனல் லீடர்ஷிப் மாடல் ஓகே வென் யுவர் ஃபாலோயர்ஸ் ஆர் யுவர் டீம் மெம்பர்ஸ் ஹாவ் லோ காம்பிட்டன்ஸ் அண்ட் லோ கமிட்மெண்ட் யுவர் ஸ்டைல் ஷுட் பி மோர் ஆஃப் டைரக்டிங் டைரக்டிங்னா யூ வில் கிவ் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன்ஸ் இதை பண்ண அதை பண்ணு இப்படி பண்ணு இதை போய் பண்ணிட்டு வா அதுங்க போய் பார்த்துட்டு வா இவனை போய் பார்த்துட்டு வா அந்த லெவலில் இருக்கும் ஓகே பட் வென் சம் கம்பிட்டன்ஸ் இம்ப்ரூவ்ஸ் but commitment levels are still bit low you should adapt a coaching style okay and when moderate competence and variable commitment comes you should move to supporting style and when your team member is becoming high on competence and high on commitment appo poi ninga direct panitirundinga avanu kovam vandru 20 varsham vela senjittirukken unna ivar solradhe senjittirukkanum man so and the stage la vande kaati uttrano delegate உனக்கு தெரியும் நீ போய் பண்ணிட்டு வா அப்போ போயிட்டு நீங்க என்ன பண்ணியா அது பண்ணியா அவனை போய் பார்த்தியா இவன் என்ன சொன்னான் அவன் என்ன சொன்னான் நீ அதை தூக்கி எங்கே வச்சியா இதை தூக்கி இங்கே வச்சியானா கோவம் வரும் ஓகே ஸோ வென் எனக்கு இவ்வளோ கா எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஆச்சு ஐ ஆம் கம்பீட்டன்ட் இன்ஃப் அப்படிங்கிற வரும்போது யூ ஷுட் அடாப் டெலிகேட் ஓகே இல்லை மெயினாக வந்து வில் பி லுக்கிங் அட் திஸ் டி டூ லெவல் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் ஹூ நீட் கோச்சி வென் த கமிட் வென் த கமிட்மெண்ட் லெவல் இஸ் லோ and competence level is moderate that is when you will be adapting coaching style as per uh, hershey and blanchard okay now um illa pathinga pa vande if somebody is going to come and ask you i don't know how to do this can you help me abdinu unga team member ketarna how will be your approach enak idu eppadi seiyanum theriyala indha vela enak help pannunga abdin ketta enna solluvinga what would be your approach what will be your answer okay correct but other that is not going to solve the problem la hmm okay okay ha huh? what you don't know okay so there are different ways of approaching it one one you can tell them what to do simplest way is telling them what to do second is okay what is the problem tell me i will give you a solution this is a solution provider approach i will give you a solution okay nariya managers in the idu pannuvanga na paathirken yaradhu problem nu vanda odane or idu poi try panna adu poi try panna idu panna na seri aayirum solution kuduthuruvanga okay and solution kudukkaduk next vanda giving advice idha try panna adha try panna offering guidance okay 
இன்ஸ்டெட் ஆஃப் கிவிங் அட்வைஸ் ஆஃபரிங் கைடன்ஸஸ் அட்வைஸ் வந்து நீ எப்படி இப்போ அப்ரோச் பண்ணணும்னு சொல்கிறது கைடன்ஸ் வந்து கைட் பண்ணுறது நீ எப்படி இதை சால்வ் பண்ணலாம் அப்படின்ட்டு asking relevant questions is next and helping another solve the problem okay idile pathina actually vande this is a directive behavior this is something this is we call it as a push strategy okay you are pushing the information into him adu enna agum always he will be dependent on you whenever he has a problem the push strategy la enna problem na எப்பெல்லாம் அவனுக்கு ப்ராப்ளம் இருக்கும் உங்கள்கிட்ட வந்து நிற்பான் சார் ப்ராப்ளம் சார் நீங்கள் கண்டினியூஸாக சொல்யூஷன் கொடுத்துட்டே இருப்பீங்க ஓகே அண்ட் ஆஃபரிங் கைடன்ஸ் இஸ் அ ஸ்டேஜ் வேர் யூ வில் மூவ் ஃப்ரம் புஷ் டு புல் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி யூ புல் சம்திங் அவுட் ஆஃப் ஹெம் ஓகே நீ சொல் எப்படி பண்ணலான்னு ஓகே ஐ கிவ் யூ அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபார் திஸ் டு ஃபார் யூ டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஓகே ஐ கம் டு தட் whom do you think needs coaching in this list of people a problematic employee someone who has a performance problem someone with an attitude problem an average performer a good performer a high potential or a successful ceo the boss hmm of course ah yaar who needs the coaching the most okay this is one question we keep asking ourselves we as coaches ena nariya thara when i go and approach companies that i am a coach abina first first reflection will be i don't have any problematic people who needs coaching abina and the ceo tend to first response irukum illa yarado or ceo vande this guy is has some attitude problem can you coach him ஆட்டிடியூட் ப்ராப்ளம் சால்வ் பண்ண முடியாது அவ்வளோ ஈஸியாக ஸோ கோச்சிங்கிட்ட தள்ளி விட்டுரு ஸோ அந்த இதுவும் பார்த்துருக்கேன் நான் ஓகே பட் ஹானஸ்ட்லி டெல் மீ இன் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி ஃப்ரம் ஃப்ரம் அன் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி பெர்ஸ்பெக்டிவ் ஹூ டு யூ திங்க் ரியலி நீட்ஸ் கோச்சிங் ஹை பொட்டன்ஷியல் நீட்ஸ் சர்டன்லி கோச்சிங் ஐ அக்ரி வித் யூ ம் ஓகே even high responsibility yes good performers needs coaching average performers needs coaching someone with attitude problem really needs coaching yes everybody huh? ceo yes. the ceos in believe that they need coaching depends on their attitude many of the ceos that i had seen think they are beyond that okay that's a problem okay interestingly who coaching is a uh, term that came from sports okay before it migrated to business okay but uh, when it moved from coach, coaches in sports are slightly a different role coaches in industry is slightly a different role but there are a lot of parallels okay but if you look at uh, uh, sports in the sports as a uh, thing where to learn what coaching is you know who all have coaches some of the examples that i have roger federer okay who has won so many grand slams he still has a coach so why do you need a coach you are the best you are the best in the industry still you need a coach still he feels he needs a coach and uh, this is his one of his coach who initially developed him and he met with a car accident so roger federer went on to support his family and uh, whenever you talk about this coach he literally goes to tears so that's his coach vishwanathan anand whenever he plays grand slams big titles he has two three he engages two three coaches he's the best what is that coach going to tell him something more okay sainya nerwal sainya nerwal the top shuttler huh 
ಸಿಂಧು ಸಾರಿ 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 ಪಿ ವಿ ಸಿಂಧು ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಕೋಚ್ ಓಕೆ ಅವರ್ ಓನ್ ಲೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹೀರೋ ಯಂಗ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಯಂಗ್ ಗೆನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫೀಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಚೆಸ್ ಲೀಡರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆರಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಅಚೀವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿಯಾ ಬಟ್ ಹೀ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಕೋಚ್ ದ ಕೋಚ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ ಸುತ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ಯಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ಹೀ ಗೋಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಫೇವ್ರೇಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಹೂ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಚಿನ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸಚಿನ್ ತಿನ್ನು ಸಚಿನ್ ಪಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರು ತರ್ಕಾರೆ ಯಾರು ತಿನ್ನಿಮ ಅವಳಿಗೆ ನೋ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಚಿನ್ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಟೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹಿ ಹಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಅ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅನ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ವೇರ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಟೇಡ್ ಇನ್ ಚೆನ್ನೈ ಯಾರ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಜಾಮ್ ಇರ್ಕ ಹಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ದಟ್ ತಾಜ್ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ದರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಓಕೆ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಸಚಿನ್ ದಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಮ್ ಪ್ಯಾಡ್ ಎಲ್ಬೋ ಪ್ಯಾಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಅಪ್ಡಿನ್ ಸೊಲ್ಲಿಟ್ ಹಿ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಟಿಪ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಐ ಟುಕ್ ಇಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಐ ವೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಐ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆನ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆನ್ ಮೈ ಎಲ್ಬೋ ಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ದ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಎಲ್ಬೋ ಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮೀ ಎ ಲಾಟ್ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ನೋಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ yeah anybody can be a coach he is not a player nobody knows him in fact after that taj hotel went on searching for this guy who is this guy who told sachin such a beautiful information which changed sachin's game so they found this guy and they arranged taj you know taj is very progressive organization they arranged for a meeting of this guy with sachin tendulkar okay so that is that is what is coaches do one question one simple information can transform your life okay that is what we believe in coaching it's life transformation okay one small question can change your entire perspective altogether okay so the coming to business coaches uh, some of the top business coaches uh, this is marshall goldsmith many of you would have heard of marshall goldsmith in fact i have a video of marshall goldsmith to share with you he talks about uh, leaders as coaches okay um then you have tony robbins tony robbins is another great uh, coach many of the top fortune 500 company ceos engage marshall goldsmith uh, tony robbins then you have ram charan another great uh, management thinker okay these are people who coaches the top ceos of the global organizations okay so business coaching is slightly different from the f- sports coaching okay so why do we hire a coach a harvard business review study uh, they found that the main reasons to hire a coach uh, by industry are as you rightly said many of you pointed out to develop a high potential facilitate transitions act as a sounding board on organizational dynamics of strategic matters this is where the ceo coach comes many i'd seen i worked with many ceos they always feel that they are lonely in the top as you go up in the ladder you become very lonely na seyradala correct dana na edukra mudivugal la correct dana yaarta pe kepinga thirupi unga subordinates ta ketting na avanga aama sir nu solluvanga illaya many of the subordinates are like that they are afraid of telling you ha huh? mr venu srinivasan he has acknowledged this particular issue yeah i i worked with many senior people they all have uh, told me at some point of time that uh, i need a sounding board na seyradala correct dana i wanted some somebody to bounce on in fact uh, one of my uh, md was uh, mr shankar krishnan i don't know if any of you know him india pistons la irundha romba varshathukku since many of your foundry people i thought you might have known him after uh, then kone elevator la 17 years managing director irundar i was one of his blue eyed boy nareya initiatives en en groom pannad avar da i would say today is no more wherever i am i think of him okay 
அவர் வந்து டுவர்ட்ஸ் த எண்ட் ஆஃப் இஸ் கேரியர் ஒன் டே ஹீ கேம் அண்ட் ஹீ டோல்ட் மீ தட் இட் வாஸ் அ பிக் காம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் ஃபார் மீ ஹீ இஸ் ரிட்டையரிங் ஐ எம் ஐ எம் அ ஜென்ரல் மேனேஜர் தேர் டூ லெவல்ஸ் பிலோ ஹிம் he came to my room and uh, he shared with me he said uh, natrajan edha or idea vandaduna na i always come and discuss with you illaya yen theriyuma abinna theriyala sir sollunga sir neengale sollunga theriyala he said uh, i see a spark in your eyes that motivates me and that gives me a feedback that my idea is good to implement so i go and implement biggest compliment in my life i got biggest compliment i i cherish that moment i can still remember the room where he sat and we spoke and uh, then i thought okay ipdi oru dimensions iruka enak theriyadu avaru enta vande implement pandradhukka edho solrar akkon solittu na sincere ah eduthu i go and implement it that's my style of working but towards the end of his career he gave me this feedback when i come and bounce a thought on you looking at your eyes i see a spark when i see that spark you are one of the early adapters he used that word you are one of the early adapters so looking at the spark i get motivated so even ceos needs a motivation and they feel very lonely at the top they look at somebody they always look for somebody who can give them the feedback what they are thinking is right or wrong that is where many a times they look for external coaches somebody from outside the industry who will come with a neutral perspective inside ninga yatta pe kettingnalo there could be biased opinions based on what is in it for me people talk illaya adanalu they look at a sounding board so which has come very powerful in the harvard business study also okay address potentially derailing behavior behavior is one area where you need coaches because we don't know sometimes we shout at people okay and we don't know that we are doing that as a behavior at that time an external coach comes and points out to you why did you behave why did you shout okay is there something we will see a case study today why did you why did you shout what is what is the reason behind that you need somebody to ask certainly you can't expect any of your team members to ask you this question so you need somebody from outside to come and ask you okay so that is another reason that potentially derailing behavior is another area where people hire coaches for okay and uh, what is coaching my definition of coaching is is a professional interaction between a coach and a client to maximize the potential of the client okay it's a professional interaction and it's a partnership coach is not somebody who is going to come and tell you what you should do okay he is a sounding board he is at the most a mirror he will reflect what you are many a times kannadi munadi paakkara patha oh konjam inge weight potta mari irke appdin thonum namakku illaya a kannadi munadi poi nikkalana namakku theriyave theriyadu adu so and the mari coach is like a mirror he can reflect he will reflect the truth he will not exaggerate he will not downplay anything okay and uh, Uh, if you look at a spectrum of asking versus telling and past versus future okay somebody who asks but goes into the past we call it a therapist okay nariya unga enna nadandathu unga life la enna nadandathu palagalathil enna nadandathu therapist poningna they dig deep into your past they believe that something that happened in you is causing the problems today okay somebody who can focus the uh, past but they tell you they don't ask you they tell you is counseling ni ipdi pannirka kodadhu ni apdi pannirka kodadhu ni indha mari pannirka kodadhu that's counseling actually okay focusing on the future but telling is mentoring but asking and focusing on the future is what we call it as coaching coaching and mentoring are very um, loosely used words corporate industry la okay um we use huh? training when the one on one we don't call normally call it as a training okay one on one is either called as a mentoring or a coaching session uh, training is for a group of people normally okay so mentoring is normally mentor has to be a subject matter expert 
whereas coach need not be a subject matter expert i don't need to know anything about foundry to come and coach you okay but if you need a mentor i need to know something about foundry okay. business okay for oh, anything sir oh timer ka an indication to me to close the session <laughs> lunch dinner time i chara close pandra adingra mari our words which are interchangeably used okay uh, slight difference da uh, international coaching federation pottavari they have a very clear demarcation of what is coaching and what is mentoring okay nanga vandu to become a coach i need to undergo 60 hours of training and 100 hours of practice and i need to submit two of my coaching uh, recordings to them okay and the recordings they evaluate we are not supposed to give any guidance any advice anything they go very strictly by that 11 competencies they look for all the 11 competencies do i exhibit that 11 competencies to certify me adukapra or exam eldi then we become a certified coach okay i'll give you one example huh? an employee is coming and telling you that ninga sonna maari ella senja sir but vela work aga matigide abingirar nu nichukeenga okay so if the leader is going to say okay adu idu vedu vela seiliya inda suggestion vela seiliya sir idu try pannu abdin solrar nu nichukeenga what do you think is the style of uh, approach is it coaching it's more of directing okay there is no coaching in this conversation okay so let us try and see how this can be converted into a coaching conversation okay so employee is coming and telling you that i did what we agreed but it is not working okay what can the leader do if he is to be a coach remember he should not go into the past he should not tell he should ask so it should be a question what went wrong, what went wrong is going to the past okay ha ah, what do you think we should do next idu vela seyla what do you think we should do next okay so the employee thinks and then he says uh, let me go back and check where the blockages inge or edathula blockage irukke let us see where the blockages okay the leader says that makes sense anything else that we can look into okay he says let us try this first if it doesn't work we need to revisit on the original calculations okay so leader says that sounds good i know you can crack this let me know how it goes giving him the confidence yes okay so the next next meeting leader ask how did it go so he says i discovered it is a timing issue this is a software company example it's a timing issue okay that's great what needs to happen now okay he says we need to persuade x some person to change the code but he is busy now okay what do you think will persuade we need to do to persuade so and so so a word from you this is where many leaders get carried away this is a stage where the monkey gets shifted to the leader <laughs> okay problem to thukki boss ta kodutrunu upward delegation our people are very capable of okay but we need to be little bit careful about this pannala thappu illa but every time he will then come to you for help okay so here the leader says that why don't you initiate the conversation okay we'll catch up after lunch nee poi try panna first this is people development actually okay okay i will give it a try okay then after lunch what is the status i managed to get swendu make the code changes it's working fine now okay that's great news how did you influence swendu so he says i explain how critical it is and asked him if I, if he could help see the approach 
okay instead of boss calling suvendo and saying that do this you make that guy to go and do it that gives him confidence that is development actually okay how was it different from your previous times i used to tell him now i simply asked him so simple okay great what did you learn from this this is how a leader should approach his team member this is what we call it as a coaching conversation okay this takes time this take efforts and many of us look for shortcuts there is no shortcuts in coaching coaching takes time and are you ready to invest that time and if you invest that time you are going to develop your people for the future okay so one of the grievances that we always have is leaders don't develop other leaders and if leaders have to develop other leaders you need to spend that quality time with the people you should move from a directive behavior to a non directive coaching behavior that is what we call it as the shift in development will happen this guy i am sure if this kind of a conversation happens next time when there is a problem he will not come to the leader he will find his own ways of going and solving it that is how then he becomes a potential guy to take up the next level of role that is development liya yeah? good so icf uh, international coaching federation has 11 competencies uh, they have identified for somebody to be a coach okay i feel uh, for leaders to be a coach these are the four important competencies that you should look at okay what are they first is trust and intimacy you need to build trust for somebody to come and accept you as a coach you need to be trustworthy we, we saw earlier uh, one of the qualities of a leader was being trustworthy so building trust is the first step that you need to take unga boss nambave mudiyadana poveengala avatta pomaatinga when will em- employees come to a manager only when they trust thing okay trust is the most important thing then you have active listening powerful questioning and creating awareness okay Sir, yeah competencies are the inborn or could be learned this is uh, leadership qualities are they born leaders are born or made is a perennial debatable point okay but i strongly believe that uh, if you are not born with that quality you can always develop that quality if you are born with the quality it's lucky you exhibit leadership qualities but it is always skills that you can learn you can change you can change it's possible it is possible definition given by international coaching federation okay trust in simple terms is in a workplace means your employees enjoy a culture of honesty psychological safety that is a most critical term okay so there is there is a safety net available i can go to my boss i can confide with him okay how many of us have that kind of a boss to whom we can go and openly have a chat okay and uh, mutual respect they are proud of where they work and are more willing to go above and beyond for your organization trust in workplace also helps employees feel secure in their jobs and trust is one factor which reduces attrition a lot okay so a survey has found out that 96% of the ceos rate trust as something as high priority okay building trust and there is a 76% correlation between employee engagement and trust and 74% less people had felt less stress when trust is built okay but the trust cannot be built overnight okay today i am going to build trust from tomorrow onwards i want to be trustworthy it doesn't happen it's an emotional bank 
you need to deposit in the bank before you start withdrawing. Now, if you open an account, if you want to check in the bank, you can get a bank. You can get a limit, but otherwise, you don't get it. They will say, your, your account doesn't have a balance. Okay? ATM will throw it back, saying that you don't have sufficient balance to withdraw. Similarly, in emotional trust bank also, you need to deposit trust before you start withdrawing. I had seen managers or leaders who sometimes I had seen uh, leaders uh, very harsh with the team members. Okay? Don't be harsh or deal panwanga, but none of those guys will leave that manager. Taniya kupta and all pesning na kovatla pesit par sir. He doesn't mean it. Where did it come from? Because they trust him. Our namak kerdal panamata re, nalla dadam panwar Trust now he is reaping the benefits of the trust. You can do anything with the people then. They will believe you blindly. Okay? And the trust to build Pandratikande, you need to do a lot of things. Okay? Unless you build the trust, then the emotional bank, it's a bank balance. Your bank balance should be positive for you to withdraw. Okay? And how do we build this trust? Stephen Covey is giving the six steps which you need to do to build your emotional bank account okay understand the individual first understand whom you are working or, or company load a training per i just asked the uh, managers it was group of managers i just asked them uh, how many of you know the people uh, who are working for you know the people na peru illa yaar then I will ask some 10 questions. Okay? You step forward if you know. If you don't know, you stay there. But hardly 5-6 steps could come. Where are they coming from? How many people are there in their family? What are the children doing? Okay, parents and up and What are his hobbies? What does he do on a free time? This is something that should we not know about our team members? Without that, how will you build trust? Unless you know your team members, very few managers I know who know this level of information about the team members. So understand the individual is first. Attend to little things. Okay? What are the small, small things that you need to look at? Okay? Um, Today, today morning, I was listening to uh, an entrepreneur who had created a big company. Um, we are having a coaching conclave for the last three days till today. Today morning, I was listening to him. He said that uh, some 300 employees are working for me and I know starting from the sweeper to everybody in my organization. And he was also narrating an incident where uh, the sweeper's husband uh, had some problems. He was admitted in a hospital. And at that time, I came to know, I was thinking that, okay, medical coverage is there. They, she was covered under ESA, and ESA was not sufficient. There were a lot of problems and other things. You have to go to ESA hospital only, a lot of other issues. That is when I decided that even though ESA coverage is there, I need separate MediClaim policy for all my employees. Beautiful. In the morning, I was listening to him. So, attend to little things. You will get a lot of information. Keep your commitments. As a leader, we should keep our commitments. Then people, that, that's how trustworthiness builds. Yeah. Clarify expectations. This is another big area. Many leaders don't clarify what do they expect. Okay? Show personal integrity. We talked about integrity in the first slide, one of the qualities. Apologize sincerely when you make a withdrawal. When you cannot keep up certain things, you should not be hesitant to ask sorry. Okay? So, Stephen Covey lists the six things that you need to do to deposit that positive balance in your emotional bank before you start with the try. Okay? Trust, in simple terms, means yeah, it's credibility multiplied by reliability multiplied by intimacy Divided by self-orientation. I'm a mathematician. I always like <laughs> equations. <laughs> okay. So, credible. Huh? Ama. Ama. 
okay any of this is zero trust is not there credibility is not there trust is not there reliability is not there trust is not there intimacy is not there trust is not there okay if anything is zero it's a multiplicative function okay credibility always tell the truth when you don't know accept with an assurance to the word back reliability delivering on commitments ensure agreed goals are met in the timelines agreed intimacy maintain confidentiality very important take the first step to provide before you seek from others and divided by self orientation if you are going to focus on your self interest people are not interested they will find out very easily so avar avar avarku vela venuna na ente ella tadavi kuduthu vela vaangvare appadina then they know that credible trust is not there in that equation illaya so that is why self orientation comes in the bottom anything that comes in the bottom reduces the trust okay good so that's about trust now we'll move to active listening what is active listening listening has different levels okay level 1 we call it as ignoring you are not listening at all level 2 you are pretending to listen level 3 is selective listening enak enna venumo adu mattu listen pannipa okay level 4 is attentive listening this is what many of us do but in coaching we always believe that it has to be active listening active listening is one level above attentive listening okay so what is this active listening it starts with first paying attention show that you are listening providing feedback okay nodding your head asking questions these are ways i will through which i know that you are actively listening okay avoid judgment when children are the correct or not tappa irukuma judgment is something you have to keep away when you are doing coaching one of the point that i struggled a lot personally uh, when i wanted to move from my hr career to a coaching career was this point in a hr la always you need to judge day in and day out ninga panel la ukkandi interview pannano judge pannano you have to select people appraisal la ukkandi na you have to judge people um enquiries lo kandinga you have to judge people wearing that hat and removing that hat and wearing a coaching hat i struggled a lot okay judgment is one area where uh, being non judgmental is one important area when you start judging people okay your mind gets clogged okay you fail to see the beautiful person in front of you okay any life experience comes our immediate mind is this is good this is bad or neutral okay neutral is also a judgment only okay but can we keep away this life experience for this judgments to just simply be present somebody is coming and talking to you ungalta undu ortha pesrar na a good a bad a ivan edhukku vandiruka ivan enna solla vara enna motive irukum apdi nama think pan aarambichona we will miss the beautiful thing that is coming from him avan enna solla varra ngra essence miss paniruvom nam so judgmental is something that we need to avoid if you want to coach people okay so for example when we say that the dress is beautiful your dress is beautiful okay what actually means is my preference i prefer this or i don't prefer this okay judgments are not facts but merely your preference and you need to focus on the language the words that are being used avoid words like good bad right wrong fair and fair perfect stupid terrible these are words which indicate that you are judging them in a coaching conversation we normally avoid all these words okay so and finally you need to respond appropriately that is where the active listening part is there okay i listened what is the essence of listening i go back and respond to what i listen i try to implement at least some of this points then you are you have actively listened the room out vella porapada ella marandu pochana it's not active listening it do at the most attentive listening okay so that is what we call it as active listening now moving to the next point which is questioning okay they call it powerful questioning let us leave the word powerful whether it is powerful it's subjective yeah then let us leave the adjective it's a questioning 
Okay, a paradigm shift occurs when a question is asked inside the current paradigm that can only be answered from outside it. Many of us think from within the box and you won't find a solution within that box. When I ask a question, if that is going to bring you out of the box to find a solution, that is where the real paradigm shift happens. That is where the change happens. In our thought process, it change of my path. Now, on the box, could you open that answer? Then, I can answer it. Okay. So, active listening, the client speaks, coach listens, and powerful questioning, the coach speaks and the client listens. Things reflects and responds. If we have a question, powerful question, I will answer it. Now, now, here, 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 Okay, he is not responding immediately. He thinks, he reflects. Then you can know that the question that you had asked is a powerful question. Okay, it made him to think. Onge kelvi vada on think panna vachidan ave it's a good question narta. Okay. So how to ask questions? You know the five W one H. Okay. But only thing when we uh, talk about coaching, we avoid this W. Why? Why do we avoid why? <laughs> we don't go to the cause. Okay. Why do we avoid why? Why irritates? Why irritates? Huh? What does why do? Huh? Why why analysis lam panu ano ma? But adhi ke oru problem thik panla. When it comes to an individual, the question why reflects on him directly. He goes into a, it takes him into a defensive mode. Okay. We, we are saying that a paradigm shift will happen when you take him out of the box. Okay. But why question in up and the box could go deep inside. Deep inside. He will not be able to see a solution. He will start looking. ஒரு ப்ராப்ளம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லும் போது ஏன் நடந்தது அப்படின்னு கேட்டிங்கன்னா போதும் ஏதோ சம்திங் நம்ம மேலே தப்பு அப்படிங்கிற மாதிரி ஐ வில் ட்ரை டு ஃபைண்ட் எவ்ரி திங் அவுட் சைடு மீ ஆஸ் அ ரீசன் ஃபார் தட் ஹேப்பனிங் ஓகே ஏன் இன்னைக்கு லேட்டாக வந்தீங்க மீட்டிங்க்கு அப்படின்னு கேட்டிங்கன்னா ஓ யூ நோ த ட்ராஃபிக் வாஸ் வெரி பேட் யூ நோ திஸ் வாஸ் வெரி இது யூ நோ தட் இஸ் வெரி பேட் திஸ் இஸ் சம்திங் ஏன் இந்த ரிப்போர்ட் வரல அவன் சரியில்லை இவன் சரியில்லை எல்லாம் போகும் ஏன் என்ற கேள்வி வந்து கண்ணதாசன் சொன்னார் ஏன் என்ற கேள்வி கேட்காமல் வாழ்க்கை இல்லைன்னு தலைவர் வேற பாடிட் போயிட்டாரு பட் அது வந்து மற்ற ப்ராப்ளத்துக்கெல்லாம் ஓகே பட் வென் எ பர்சன் இஸ் கம்மிங் டு யூ ஃபார் அ கோச்சிங் அவாய்ட் ஒய் கொஸ்டின் வி நார்மலி டோன்ட் என்கரேஜ் ஒய் கொஸ்டின் ஓகே இன்ஃபேக்ட் எங்களோட இதில் வந்து டு பி அ கோச் நாங்கள் எங்கேயாவது ஒரு இடத்துல ஒய் கொஸ்டின் கேட்டோம்னா இட்ஸ் அ ஃபெயிலியர் we should we should never ask why question engaloda questioning idilla who what where when how are the questions that we normally ask okay good um there are three dimensions that you can use to construct a question one is construction assumption and scope okay i'll take this for simple question you go and ask somebody are you satisfied with your job what do you think will be the answer Yes or no? Simple. What will you do with that answer? Nothing. If you say yes, if you say no, if you say no, if you say no, you can't do that. That's why you can't do that. Okay? So, the same question, how do you construct a question is very important. Okay? How do you construct a question is very important. Okay? In coaching, the most important aspect is how do you construct your questions. In the question, there is a construction, different way of asking the same question. what do you find most satisfying about your job is this a better way of asking than the previous question yes. you see the difference ipa yes or no answer varad okay coaching conversation la we try to avoid closed ended questions where you say yes or no okay yes or no is only for some clarification we ask otherwise we don't ask yes or no question yes or no question vande dead end mudinju pochu adhukku mela ungalala onnu panna mudiyadhu adutha question thirupi neenga frame pannano Rather, rather than that, what do you find most satisfying about your job? Okay. Then he has to think. 
you cannot answer this question easily. First question, you can easily answer it. Second question, you can easily answer it. If I ask each one of you, what is that one factor that is you find more satisfying in your job? Can you answer immediately? It takes some time, Leah. You need to think. Either solala, either solama, other solama, ipri solama, ipri solama. Okay? That is construction. A different way of asking the same question. Or scope, different levels of asking the same question. How would you define a satisfying job? Okay? That's, we are asking him, now you define a satisfying job. Okay? Or assumption, different assumption begin the question. What can you do to improve the job satisfaction? Now we are going to the next level. So these are different ways of asking questions. Okay. Okay. Now uh, I wanted to play this video of Marshall Goldsmith. Um, it's not moving. The six question process for business coaching. In my role as a executive coach, most of what I do is coaching to help people achieve positive long-term change in leadership behavior. This is behavioral coaching. I'm frequently asked a question though, how can I be a better business coach? How can I be a better coach in terms of helping people deal with strategic issues, the business side of the business? This six question process is a fantastic tool. I've used this process with six major CEOs around the world and it has worked every time. Six out of six. One of the CEOs I worked with, the gentleman Jim Morton, was the CEO of the John Hancock Life Insurance Company. The first year I gave him his feedback about providing feedback and coaching, I think he scored an eight percentile. The last year I did it, he got a 98 percentile on the same topic. This is all he did. The other thing Jim said is, you know, I spent less time with people when I got evaluated a 98 than I did when I got evaluated an 8. He spent less time, but he had more structure, more direction, and more clarity. So the time he spent was used in a lot better way. Let's describe the six-question coaching process. First, have a one-on-one -on -one dialogue with each of your direct reports. And I'd say do this about every two or three months, dealing with six basic issues. Question number one, where are we going? Where are we going? Have a dialogue with the person and say, as your manager, here's where I see uh, the bigger parts of the business are going. Here's where I see our organization is going. Where do you think we should be going? So when you have a dialogue, two-way communication, here's where I see us going. Where do you think we should be going? Number two, where are you going? Here's where, as a manager, I would say, here's where I see you and your part of the business going. Where do you think you and your part of the business should be going? Because you want to have alignment two ways. One big picture, smaller picture, to manager, direct report. You want to have both types of alignment. Where are you going? Number three, doing well. As the leader, I'd say, here's what I see you and your part of the business is doing very well. Then ask the person a question. This is a question we don't ask enough in leadership. What do you think you're doing well? What are you most proud of? Well, sometimes we don't recognize people, not out of maliciousness, but out of ignorance. By asking this question, what do you think you're doing well? We can often learn a lot. For example, the person might say, oh, you know, manager, I know you had that important presentation to make. The team spent all weekend working on it. It seemed to go great. I was very proud of them. As a manager, I might say, I didn't understand that. I didn't appreciate all the work you put in. Let me recognize the team. So again, by asking this question, what are you proud of? What do you think you're doing well? We often learn things as a leader we didn't know. Question number four, suggestions for improvement. I'd say, as your manager, here's some suggestions I think might help you do even better moving forward. And my idea is feed forward, not feedback. Give them ideas for the future more than feedback about the past. Then ask the person a question. And this is a great coaching question. If you were the coach for you, what advice would you have for you? Then listen. One of my good coaching clients recently retired, George Borst, CEO of Toyota Financial Services. George said he was shocked at how much he learned when he asked people this question. Originally, he thought they'd say fluffy things like, oh, I work too hard and I need to take a little more time off. He was, said, he was wrong. He said more than half the time, their ideas on how they would coach themselves, he thought were superior to his ideas on how he would coach them. 
he ended up saying, look, I gave you my ideas, I've thought about it, let's just go with your ideas. A great question. Imagine you were the coach for you, what ideas would you have? A great coaching question. Then question number five, as the leader, how can I help? How can I help you? We've talked about what you want to do, where you want to go. Six, what suggestions or ideas do you have for me that are going to help me be more effective as your manager? What suggestions do you have for me? Two ways, not one way. Everybody's trying to help each other. Now, here's the key to making this process work. It's something called mutual responsibility. Mutual responsibility. As the leader, what I would say is, once every two or three months, I'm going to go over these six basic issues with you. If at any time you feel a sense of ambiguity, confusion, not clear on priorities, not clear on direction, I want you to take responsibility to come in and talk to me. If at any time you need more feedback, coaching, please take responsibility. If I take responsibility to do my job every two or three months and cover these six basic questions, and you take responsibility in between time, there is absolutely zero reason we should have any confusion or doubt in terms of clarity, in terms of direction, in terms of coaching, or in terms of feedback. Mutual responsibility. I have never seen this process fail. So as a leader, you want to do a better job of providing clarity, better job of coaching, better job of feedback, better job of recognition. The six question process can help you get there. Clear? What are the six questions that you need to ask? He says, this is one uh, important thing that uh, managers have to spend at least every quarter a dedicated time uh, to discuss some of these issues. Okay? Normally, in a meeting, every day we are having meeting, we are meeting people. But that is not going to be a coaching discussion. You are not going to have coaching discussion in every meeting. Meeting is separate. You should have a separate one-on-one -on -one with employees once in a quarter, okay, with all your team members and talk something neutral, something about him as a person. Ask him, what is it that you have done very well? What is it that I need to do better? Okay, that is, that is what we mean by a coaching conversation, leaders as coaches, okay? Good. I think we are taking a lot of time. The last point is creating awareness, okay? When we talk about this is the most important aspect of coaching, okay? Have I made him be aware of something that he is not aware of? Coaching, one of the most important objective is each one of us have a blind spot. What is a blind spot? I don't know something about me, my behavior, which others will be seeing, okay? So, to show that blind spot, we need coaching, okay? And that's why we say that many a times the blind spot lies here. You don't know. What you see outside, the iceberg theory, okay? What you see outside is only the behavior. But why is he doing it? What, what does he feel about this? What does he think about it? What are his beliefs? Unless we go deep below, we will never find a solution for the problem. You will be temporarily quick fixing. Band-aid or chote it poramarda. Okay? So, if you want to really find solution for individual behavioral problems, you need to go deep into the thoughts, the feelings and the beliefs. Okay? So, we will take one quick example. In a team meeting, you see one of your team members is shouting at another team member who was making a presentation. So, what can you do? Now, you need to have a coaching conversation, okay? Using this iceberg model. So, the leader is calling this employee. Coaching conversation starts like this. Yesterday in the team meeting, I noticed you shouted on so and so and the entire team is getting distracted, okay? So the employee reflection, no, he was distorting the picture with false information. I had to shout him to make him stop. So that is a typical response that comes from an employee. 
So then the leader asks, what makes you feel that the information shared is distorted? Many a times it's assumptions, okay? I think he was trying to give an excuse for his non-performance by blaming others. I think, which means, is it a fact or an assumption? That comes out very powerfully here, okay? How did you come to the conclusion without hearing him fully that he is trying to give excuses? See the kind of questions that comes from the leader. This is the level at which they are going below the water. At this level it was mainly what was observed. Now they are taking a deeper dive. Okay? That is his attitude. He always blames others for his shortcomings. information about him. Some behavior, past behavior is influencing your current behavior. Okay? I, I always think that guy will give only wrong information. Then I get clogged with my thought process. Was your behavior reflecting your attitude towards him? This is where the attitude level is coming. What was your attitude towards him? Is it influencing your behavior? What do you think would be the response from the employee? Silence. He cannot answer this question. If he is serious, he will reflect. Is there something wrong with me? That I am having an attitude towards that guy, which is influencing my thought process, process towards him. So that is where the reflection happens. Okay? How, allow him to reflect. In coaching, you should allow for silence. Silence are spaces where people reflect. They go deep inside. They look at answers within. So you should allow for that silence. And when that, after the silence, slowly start. What do you feel? How do you feel about it? That is where you are now coming to the values part. Okay? Now the value statement comes. What do I think? My value statement is I hate people who blame others for their mindsets. Mistakes, sorry, others for their mistakes. So that's my value statement. And my value statement has influenced my attitude and my attitude has influenced my behavior. You are able to see how deep we are going in this conversation. How does this belief of yours influence your behavior yesterday in the meeting? No answer. He will start thinking. Okay? This is what we reflective thinking. This is what we call it as a coaching conversation. And it takes time. You need to build all the other things like trust and other things for somebody to come and discuss with you like this. Okay? And unless you go to that level, you will not see transformation happening. It will be band-aid fixing only. Temporary fixes that you will be doing. That is why we always say coaching is a transformational process. It takes time. You need to build that emotional bank for people to accept you as a coach first of all and then if you do this process of active listening powerful questioning and then come to the creating awareness level at this level i am sure this this employee will start thinking at least will he change no guarantee but at least he will think okay that is you are you are bringing him to the next level of thinking where there is a possibility of a paradigm shift happening. Okay? Good. So with this, I close my session. I think I've taken an hour. Any questions that you have, I'm ready to answer. From the technical aspects of uh, the work. Yes. Huh? Coaching, we normally believe, is on the behavioral side. Okay. Yeah, I think everybody could hear your questions. Coaching is more on the person okay. rather than on the process or rather than on the technicalities. So once you correct the person, everything else, he knows how to correct the process. Okay, that he knows where to find your technical solutions. We saw that discussion between a manager and uh, that technical problem. Mm. There was a technical problem. 
but was it a technical problem it was a problem that he could not find a solution for that problem you need to redefine the problem statement the problem was not the technical problem coding problem we saw that suvendu example no it was not a technical coding problem yes coding problem was there but then more but are you going to address the coding problem every time you will keep addressing the coding problem technical problem instead address the problem why this guy is not able to find a solution if you address correct this problem that problem will automatically get correct so coaching we always believe it is to do with the behavior of the person and if you can correct the behavior of the person the person is quite capable of taking care of all the technicalities that is why we always believe that he should he need not be a subject matter expert in fact one step above we always suggest that he should not be a subject matter expert when i am a subject matter expert you tend to ask me technical solutions and i am not supposed to give you any solution so when you know that i don't know the technical solution then we will look at the behavioral aspect of it the coaching is it lifelong the uh, yes yes and then supposing there is a failure you know you go try to coach somebody either one of the two one of the two fails or both fail what, what is the solution in that case okay. there is no failure in coaching okay coaching is about individual behavior mm. okay and you you can never say that we failed it means we did not find a solution try finding it you were not able to go to the depth probably you got stuck somewhere in the behavioral aspect alone you are not able to take the deep dive when you go the go deep below you will normally find the problems very easy and in coaching we always believe the solution is there where the problem is and we always believe the problem is inside so the solution is also inside only thing we don't find the solution so we need somebody to come and reflect a mirror to us and it could take a long time also not one discussion one discussion it will not happen sir oh. it never happens time consuming it's a time consuming process any transformation is a time consuming process any quick fix is immediate but not long lasting transformations are long lasting so choices between shortcuts to transformational initiatives thank you sir thank you sir nice questions any further questions we normally have a code of conduct he was asking common minimum behavior many organizations have this code of conduct code of conduct is the common minimum behavior we can develop and the influence of other external people coming for creating ir issues <coughs> in spite of the company spending a lot of uh, training programs and other things behavior attitude changes the people come easily change the mindset of the people hmm. the ir issues yeah that's an area where experimented in thing like i had faced many such issues uh, i had faced strikes 86 days people were stand sitting outside um that's a different topic altogether sir but only thing uh, we can explore um somewhere what do you think uh, are the reasons that they go to an external person that's not there you have an answer you have an answer for the question i don't need to give you an answer trust is not there you have not built that emotional trust bank very simple we had a strike in our factory for the size of the vada but we know we all know it is not the size of the vada any further questions so these are my coordinates uh, thank you for the opportunity and uh, if any of you feel that you need a coaching conversation with me do reach out to me i am ready to work with you okay and uh, we can have coaching conversations
Okay? This is an open offer for members of IIPM. IIPM, no? What do you call it? IIF. 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 Okay? Thank you and thanks for this uh, interactive session and wishing you all the best. Thank you, Natarajan, sir, for conducting a very uh, interactive and interesting uh, session. It was very nice. So, to felicitate our uh, speaker for the day, may I now request our uh, honorary treasurer, Mr. P. Sendhil Kumar, to felicitate our uh, speaker for the day with a traditional Angavastram. Thank you.